Corey Bello seems to be dropping some wisdom on his Twitter page. He tweeted, and I quote, Unfortunately, some people have to die for you to move forward. The good news is that you don't have to kill them unless you are killing them with, with love. love. End mm. of quotes. Yeah, so I get what he means. I mean, there are people that will just sit down and decide that until... If I do not agree, this person will not get this job. This person will not be promoted. This person will not do this. This person will not do that. But if God says it has to happen, and the only way for it to happen is for you to be removed, my dear, you're setting yourself up for trouble. So I think um, it's just best for everyone to live by the video slang. What does it say? We rise right, by lifting right. others. So don't deliberately be the stumbling block in the way of anybody's progress. It, it doesn't tell well on you, and it doesn't tell well on the person. And Th that other person will always find a way to survive. But you realize that you're sitting at a particular place trying to block someone, and in that way, you're also not moving forward because it is going to take a level of energy for you to be the stumbling block for someone, and it's going to also draw you down. So I get where he's coming from, but <sighs> I hope people will listen. Um, um I feel like people see life in different ways. ways. Mm -hmm. Some people don't see it as maybe somebody have to die, literally, or die, die, whatever it is. Some people, do, like you said the other day, we were talking about um, bringing other people down, uh, and talk, praying for your enemies, mm -hmm. and you said you don't even care about them because at the end of the day, God is still going to put you where he wants to put you, mm -hmm. or your hard work. Some people that don't believe God will put you where, your hard work will put you where you're supposed, supposed to, to be. be. So people just see life differently. Maybe that's how he sees life, and that's how he's handling it. That's OK. Other people might not see it that way. Other people might not agree with it. That's fine. I think what I got from all of this is um, success is the best revenge. So even if somebody has tried to be a stumbling block in your life, he said you don't necessarily have to kill them literally, but mm. kill them with love. love. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And that love is, even though somebody has been bad to you, it doesn't mean you should go to their faces and rub it in when you become successful. Still be that person that would show somebody that was bad to you, that was unkind to you. Show them kindness, show them love, and let them feel like, ah, after all I've done to this guy. I think revenge, I mean, I think success mm. is the best revenge. So that's what it means by when you're killing them with love. So just smile in the faces because I've always said it on the show, one, when one door closes, another, another one will open. open. Yeah. And even if another one don't open, the window will be open or the back door. We shall enter one way or the other, <laughs> shall, or it will break through the roof. One way or the other, we'll be in there. And then when we get to the top, we'll be there together and then we're all smiling. And then I think that's just the killing them with love. It doesn't mean kill those people literally. You know your stumbling blocks, you know your problems in life. Life, you know the people that are there that and you know the people that are not there for you but at the end of the day when you make it, it doesn't mean oh pay them backwards in, in, in their own coin just do your thing and just be happy because your sanity is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned okay and I'm saying don't be the one to be the stumbling block try right. don't be the one that devil is using